Hi! In this video we are going to show that uh, in uh, Cobloglas uh, preferences the marginal rate of substitution is independent of the way we present with, uh, the utility but only depends on the ratio of the parameters and the quantity of the goods in, in, in consideration. If we take this uh, uh, example, for, uh, this function is a uh, this utility is a function of two goods, u of x1 and x2. And let's take now this logarithmic representation. Then c times log of x1 plus d times log of x2 is what we get. We said in another video, the formula to get marginal rate of substitution is as follows. We take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x1 and divide the partial uh, derivative of this function with respect to x2. In other words, we are dividing the two marginal utilities. And now, uh, if we use this formula and, and, and apply it on here, we get uh, minus c over x1. Remember, minus is just to remind us that uh, in order to remain on the same difference curve, which means in order to have a constant utility, then the consumer, uh, by choosing more of, a, uh, of x1, must uh, decrease uh, the consumption of x2. So this is just a, a convenient sign, convenience sign. Uh, so this is c times uh, c over c divided by x1 uh, over uh, d over x2. And by rearranging, we get this result, which is the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the parameters times the quantities of the two goods. The, uh, the, uh, is it, the marginal rate of substitution is equal to c times x2 divided by d times x1, which means it only depends on the parameters and the quantities of the two goods, and not the way we represent the utility. Let's uh, take another representation to prove this. What if u of x1 x2 instead of logarithm what if this was equal to uh, x1 to the power of c x2 to the power of d now instead of logarithmic representation we have x1 to the power of c x2 to the power of d this is ex exponential representation of the same utility and now what we have is If we take the partial derivative uh, of this function with respect to x1, then we have c times x1 to the power of c minus 1 times d. Uh, sorry, it's times x2. Times x2 to the power of d divided by d times x1 to the power of c times x2 to the power of d minus 1. And after rearranging this, we arrive the same as before, which means no matter how we represent this utility function, uh, it, whether if it's a logarithm, uh, log logarithmic representation or exponential representation, the marginal rate of substitution we get is the same. So the marginal rate of substitution is independent of the utility representation and only depends on the ratio between uh, the uh, parameters and the quantity of the goods. I hope this was useful.